number one Iron Age booty daddy. Have you heard the news, ladies and gentlemen? Well, if you haven't, and at this point, if you're on this corner of the internet, you've absolutely heard the news. Elon Musk decided that it is finally time to get rid of the name Twitter and go with X, which, if you followed that news at all, he's wanted to do this for a long time, so really no surprise there. It was just a matter of time, considering that he kind of announced it back when he, you know, bought the company. But one of the things that this brings up is a really interesting question around the indie creator space, right? Guys that are doing independent comic books, independent novels, very much so independent tabletop RPGs, and a plethora of other types of entertainment. Now, one of the things that we're going to start seeing as everything is changing on the internet, social media is going to start changing back to, well, kind of what it used to be back in the day for a pay-to-play model. And what I mean by that is that for the most part, the people who were on the internet back in the early 90s and early 2000s that were prominent were people who had skin in the game, who actually paid to basically uh, promote their stuff and host their own websites and so on and so forth. Now, there were a couple things like chat rooms and all that, but that was usually offered by companies like AOL, which you generally had a, you paid for an AOL email and you got into those chat rooms. They did offer free services, but they were very limited and so on and so forth for those of us who remember. Why is this my focus today? Well, one, I like to focus on independent comic book creators as well as independent novelists and, well, just independent entertainment creators as well. And hopefully if you guys like my thoughts on this, you guys will like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell for me. So now that all that YouTube speak is out of the way, well, let's talk about YouTube. It is being rumored that in order to get more promotion and visibility on YouTube, they're actually gonna start charging their creators. Now, the minimum buy-in is about $200 based off of what I saw from Jeremy Hambly from The Quartering. Now, one of the things that a lot of people are noticing, YouTube is getting harder and harder to just get your videos out to your audience. It's very much well known on YouTube and all of the YouTube circles that, and Twitter and all of that, if you are creating, if you're putting stuff out there, the people who actually subscribe to your channel don't see your channel. It's almost like subscribers really don't matter anymore, uh, with the exception of the minimum amount required to be monetized on YouTube. So. Now that we're seeing all of these companies kind of run out of money because they have changed their models so much that the things that made them all that money in the beginning, they decided wasn't good enough. So they chased the big dollars and chased away the way that made them money, which was basically, if somebody hit, a, hit subscribe to a channel, they got shown that channel, they got shown everything, and then you found out what that channel did and targeted, targeted ads for that channel. They obviously decided to go away from this model. Most places have. In fact, Twitter, they have a for you and a following, right? And both of them are kind of hot garbage. I, I My for you section, I actually see more people that I follow and that I actually care about than I, you know, care about in my following section on Twitter. What's going to happen for all of the independent creators out there is in order to keep promoting your stuff in the ways that you have been forever, and even me here on YouTube, and it may get to a point where if I can't afford it on YouTube, I, I'm already set up in some other places, so we're just going to have to go there. But if it's going to be a pay-to-play model, are creators going to still be able to do all of the promotion that they've been doing? As of right now, you can go on Twitter every day, do a couple tweets a day, look at this creation, here's the advancements that we made, here's how the project is progressing, guess what, we hit new milestones over on this crowdfunding website. By the way, did you know my launch day is coming up? Well, you're going to have to start paying for all that. Now, it's going to start off at a low price like everything does, but eventually that price is going to climb. And it's going to say, well, you have, and eventually the price that you pay for entry is going to be like, well, you've exceeded your maximum level of tweets here under X. Oh, but never you mind. Why don't you just become a creator? To become a creator, you're going to have to pay more. You want to post videos on X now that it's X, which is the dumbest freaking name. You're going to have to pay more. You want to do live streams over there? It's probably going to cost you. We're going to get back to more of a capitalistic system. If you want access to the product... Well, guess what? Advertisers aren't going to pay for it anymore. It's going to have to come out of your pocket. Again, 
We kind of all saw this coming, especially with all these companies trying to fix things with algorithms. And it turns out algorithms suck at growing the money. What works at growing money is people. And somewhere along the line, these tech giants kind of forgot about that. And for those of us who've been watching this, we all kind of knew it was coming. I was hoping that I would be able to grow this channel to a large enough level that, well, I would probably be able to avoid some of this, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Now, I do have a Rumble channel. I am over there, and I have my Gilded as well, where people come and they support me over there. One of the things that's going to suck is that if I have to figure out how to make all this work, I love shouting out independent creators here. And I have received many messages from people, and I've had private conversations with people that, you know, when when I have them on my show or when I highlight them on this channel here, they they get a few. They, they get a few people. They get a few people over there. They get four or five people buying their books or whatever every time. And for small creators like this, they said that's a massive thing for them. So along with this pay to play model, the thing that I'm doing here, I've got to figure out how to adjust. Everybody's going to have to figure out how to adjust. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think? What do you think uh, the new internet is going to look like? I mean, I think that this is the best time for independent creators, but it's also going to be a time where people are going to have to put up or shut up. And sadly, if I can't put up, I'm going to have to be like the people who shut up. Let me know what you guys think down in my comments. And as always, every single Sunday, for as long as I can, I do a show called Sunday Coffee. It's where I go and I read all your comments from the last week. And I actually have a conversation with you about your thoughts. So let me know what you guys think. And until next time, I, I, I don't have a beer today. I need to dry out, guys. It was a rough weekend. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.